Hello there and welcome back. So uh, this video is going to be a let's say correctional video or so to speak. So in my previous Jenkins video you see how I set up my environment with Jenkins and uh, I thought it might be interesting for you to know how you can migrate the let's say home folder for the Jenkins installation so that you have a more spacious drive available. So as you may recall, uh, by default, if you do not specify anything uh, as configuration to the Jenkins, when you start off with Apache, what you see is that the Jenkins folder is created under your user profile. And uh, that might not be the best idea in every case. So what I thought in this video, I will show you how you can, let's say, migrate your Jenkins profile from this folder to another folder. So as you can see, I'm also short on space, but I would like or prefer if the Jenkins profile was here. So in order to do that, I need to create this Jenkins stuffs folder. And what I will do now is to copy everything from my dot Jenkins folder to this folder, Jenkins stuffs. <coughs> and I'm going to open the sysdm.cpl and here on Windows, I'm going to create a new variable called Jenkins home. And this Jenkins home is going to point to this Jenkins stuffs folder. I will say it's okay. And now what I can do is to start up my Tomcat. And I go to the Devops folder, the Apache, Tomcat, the binary, and the startup.bat. And uh, if everything goes well, I should be able to pinpoint out what's the change. So basically, what happens now is that when you start up the Apache and it is starting up the web application, it is going to pick up from environment variables that the Jenkins home folder has changed. And uh, this change is going to be reflected with the Jenkins application. And if it loads and it loads properly, what I should be able to see Let's go to the Jenkins context route and wait for the application to load. It takes some time because it's a huge Java application. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that uh, you still have some Hudson references, even though they have parted their ways long ago with the original, let's say, development team. So there was a feud between them, but I think I have talked to you about this in the previous video. And uh, there is a very similar platform that you can check out in the name of Hudson. And they also have this nice waitress logo but they are called Hudson. And basically these are almost the same in functionality. But the idea behind the continuous delivery, continuous integration is kind of the same. It doesn't matter whether you go for Hudson, Jenkins, Bamboo, or, or other stuff. Uh, let me in, let me in. Mm-hmm. 
What is it now? Warning. Unable to add resource. Insufficient free space available. What? It should be working. It is working, it was just thinking too hard. So basically, <sighs> this is it. And if we go to the manage Jenkins part, and we go to the configure system, what we should see is the new Jenkins home folder, if everything goes well. If not, then, well, that that's a shame. <laughs> but basically, as you can see, we have successfully migrated our home folder because the home directory is pointing to the F drive with the DevOps and Jenkins stuff. So basically, this was all I wanted to show you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.